I'm Christian Abbott. I'm Nathan Lavender. I'm Sean Abbott. And this is the Red Mist Podcast. Hello, welcome to the Red Mist Podcast, Season 3, Episode 27. The Blue Max Racing, 1983 Pontiac Le Mans of Tim Richmond, number 27, Old Milwaukee Beer Sponsorship. It's fantastic. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Looks like a car, too. Mm-hmm. Anyways, tonight's episode, we'll discuss NASCAR in Chi-Town. Not the same results as last year. Uh, well, close, so, close, but close, yeah, but yeah. a deserving driver won. Yes, um, F one, Britannia. <laughs> IndyCar, Mid Ohio, mm-hmm. Hydra Air, hy- Hybrid Era. Yes, with push to pass, you have both. You know. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty cool. It's just the, the addition of hybrid. I know. That's all. But extra horsepower. Yeah. Like that. Uh, we had some EMS action at Imola. Oh, I didn't know that was going on. Yes. Oh, yes. Damn it. That would have been good to watch. And we have some uh, news and notes. Plenty of news and notes. Plenty of news and notes. Mm-hmm. Some NASCAR driver drops. Pity. Mm-hmm. Oh, some NASCAR driver ads for a few races. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, the, it, that's the extent, extent that, I, that, I, that yeah, you know about it? Yeah, okay. I don't know. We also have an IndyCar driver update for an uh, upcoming race in Milwaukee. Mm, so, yes. Turn of one of our favorites. No, 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 uh, uh, I'm Iowa. sorry, Iowa. Iowa. Iowa, doubleheader. So. Mm-hmm. Nate will be excited about that one. Yes. Um, and... Uh, is that this weekend, Iowa? Yeah. Oh, good. All right, it fills the gap from F one mm-hmm. in the triple header. Yeah, yeah. Go from go from a, a triple header to a true double header. At the end of the, anyways. Oh, yeah, I'll just ask the question. Oh no, I don't want to wreck the wreck the discussion point. Never mind. Okay, we'll come back to it. Um, just, um, all right, NASCAR in Chicago. Uh, SVG won on Saturday. Yes. Any race? Yes. Uh, Kyle Larson got a hoot following him, mm-hmm. getting passed by him. <laughs> said he learned a lot I, the positives <laughs> the uh the best moment was when uh svg passed larson as he passed him he gave him the thumbs up <laughs> and larson thought that was cool yeah larson's the only one i would think that cool everyone I, else would get all mad about I it i know i know anyways we'll talk about that somebody got mad about something after the race and almost mm. caused a serious problem and got away with a monetary penalty but mm. I'm not so sure that I think this should have been a little harsh given the situation that the driver's side net was down. So that could have led to something. Well, just the way that the way the way that driver rolls, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um. Anyways, uh, the Grant Park 165 once again interrupted by rain. So that was cool. Got that rain tires. Yeah. You know. Uh, windshield wipers, things like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, congratulations to Alex Bowman. Yeah. Wins, gets locked in. He had no win before, so that's good. Uh, Tyler Reddick with a, another fine finish on the road course. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think he was in the top three. Oh, no, last year he was running well, and then he shoved it off down one of the escape roads, unfortunately. Right. That was too bad. Because he was going to have a good fight with SVG. Mm -hmm. SVG, on the other hand, was uh, first car out, thanks to Chase Briscoe for plowing into him from behind. Good move, Chase, demonstrating your driving skills. Uh, I think at some point, payback may be coming. (laughs) I'll just say it. They look like a bunch of amateurs out there. Except for one or two guys. Yes. I mean, but I mean... Is it expected of putting 
oval discipline guys on road courses yeah or street courses or doesn't matter you're making them turn right and doing not what they yeah normally do i i mean um the i i I think my only questionable remark of what i'm gonna say is should the dirt guys be okay in this this scenario because it's changing grip every lap um well reddick it's a dirt guy. Yeah. He's a former dirt guy. But what, was there any guys that were having issues that are more known Larson. F- for dirt? Larson. Larson didn't have a good race. I don't even know where he finished. Hold on. Scrolling through. You know, somebody who should have finished better, and I'm not joking, is Austin Sendrick. It's kind of disappointing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Larson went out. Larson was the second guy out. And then the dinger was third. That's that's disappointing. However, Actually, oh, that's that's right. I do remember Larson's. Yep. However, uh, Ty Gibbs finished third. Uh, however, in fourth place, who and he won a stage. Joey Hunt. Yes, that was very good. Yep. Followed by former IMSA, IMSA competitor Michael Madowell. Mm-hmm. Finished fifth. Uh, Stenhouse was uh, sixth. Gillen in seventh. Byron. Eighth, Kyle Busch, ninth, and young Ryan Blaney was tenth. Wow. What Hamlin fan? Oh, wow. Denny had a bad day. And uh, bad Brad with another solid 18th place finish. Good job, Brad. Mm -hmm. Thank God you locked in. Other than that, that's all I really got to say on it. Lost interest after SVG went out. Uh yeah, yeah. I mean, I tuned in late to the race, and I think he was already out by that point. So yeah, I didn't. I didn't want to watch yeah. anymore for that. But then, yeah. um, I also it, apparently they could have got the race in earlier if they wanted to try to beat the rain. There was con- controversy yeah. around that. It's just, here we go again. Sure. Inability, especially in a street circuit, you want to get the race in. So who really cares? Just bump it all back up and let's TV. Mm-hmm. Anyways, oh, yeah. all right. Let's talk about after the race on the cool down lap. Daryl Wallace took exception to Alex Bowman. They've also had ex- a few pleasantries elsewhere during their tenure in NASCAR, mm-hmm. and uh, Daryl decided to uh, basically fence him good move uh unfortunately uh after, after the start finish. A, after the start finish line on the cooldown lap after he won after bowman won he walled him and you know you know how the winner takes his hand out the window yeah, 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 you know yeah, yeah. like everyone does and daryl just doesn't even think about it so like if he walled him enough and his head went through and hit the yeah. post good move so um daryl got a fifty thousand dollar fine i think it should have been more but uh once again uh Anyways, oh, moving at, on. At least they gave him some fine. He got something, yeah. yeah. Should have been points, but whatever. Anyways, uh, next up, this this sound, this is exciting race. Pocono, the high point dot com, whatever they are. Four hundred, not five hundred, four hundred. Four hundred. Yeah. So that's uh, this weekend. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will uh, tune in next Monday for the half hour recap of that snooze fest. I'll tune in for the five minute recap. And How much you want to bet on a rain the... delay on that? It's yes. It's mid July in the yeah. Poconos. Yeah. Yep. All right. That kid, that race may run into Monday. So. Oh, All you right. Know what? It is Wednesday. Let's check the forecast. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh. It's... It's going to be sunny on Sunday, oh, all right. but it could be, no, I mean, there might be rain early morning Saturday, but might not stop anything. So, yeah. Is this before the race or after the race? I think it's before. Are we during the race still? No, no, the, that that's all over. Oh, okay. All right. There, wa- there wasn't too much. Okay. Um. <clears throat> all right. So that's that's NASCAR. Do we, ah, we'll skip the standings this week. I'm st- I'm too heartbroken over SVG not getting the double. <laughs> All right. Because would he have qualified? No, he still wouldn't no, qualify because he he's not a uh, full-time competitor. No. 
Anyways, all right, let's move on to F1. Oh, all Britain, all British final. <laughs> Not for amateurs. <laughs> Quote a great movie. <laughs> um, anyways, um, held at the historic Silverstone circuit. Uh, we had uh, George grabbing pole, Lewis second. Was Lando third in qualifying? Uh, qu qualifying? Yeah, I think he was. Where is it? Sure, let's roll with that. Yeah, so, and then we had Max fourth. So, anyways. Yes. Russell, Hamilton, Norris, yep. Verstappen, Piastri, Hulkenberg. Yep. Or and at, first three, at one three, point, three it was one, two, three, Britannia. In the race. And then one, two, three, four. Well, it wasn't really one, two, three, four Britannia cars. It was one, two... Germany cars with British drivers yes. at a British based team. Yeah. Um, followed by Mc, two McLarens with a Brit and a Aussie driving. Then yeah. the Dutchman fifth mm -hmm. in a British car. Yeah. Got it. All right. Sponsored by, they're owned by an Austrian company. Right. Makes sense. But it's all British. So everything's British. Yep. Uh, George jumped to the lead and then was subsequently passed by. Get in there, Lewis. Yes. Sir Lewis. As the, the rain came As down. As the rain fell. And they were still on drives, but right. not wet enough to go not, to Not slice. wet. Or, I'm sorry, to uh, go to wet. The Red Bull did not respond well. So Max had went off in qualifying, got damaged, lost a bunch of aero from that. Question was, was how much would be regained in the race? The I one. saw that they replaced the floor, but I don't know Could have been a previous what floor. that entails really but excuses aside they didn't have the pace yep so um lando quickly grabbed the pace as the rain fell as the rain fell yep. marched through the field up to first yep um and then oscar followed suit yes um pit stops ensued mm -hmm. uh george retired the car George, no, retired. No, 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 oh. no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, oh. hold on. I was doing my best, Toto. Pit stops come out, Verstappen pits first. Oh, okay. Smart move by Red Bull yeah. on the right time. Yeah. And then a lap later, uh, Lando, Lewis, and George all pit, and McLaren did screws Piastri. Mercedes, did they double stack? They double stacked. Yep. So George was okay. It was makes sense with in. the rain. You're not gonna. Yes. Yeah. It was, okay. it, be, it, because, regardless, the time loss in the pit is because less than one. One track. lap went by. Yeah. And they were already on Piastri's. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Rear end. So, so McLaren, McLaren, McLaren threw away Piastri at that point. So what you're get. saying is they played favorites with the Brit. Either that, or they don't have the confidence to double stack. Gotcha. All right. So, um, um then. Then rain came out. Max got closer. Yep. Because of the pit cycles, so right. he got brought back into the game. Yep. So plus one to Red Bull Red for Bull. the strategy. Yep. Um, number of laps go by. Uh, George, his now you can you can do your thing. George retire the car. Yeah. We have a problem. So he he retires from the race. Did he get uh, out and cry? No, they wheeled him into the, the garage. garage. And then he got out and cried. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. At that point, we're um, it was what? We were all on inters at that yeah. point. Who's our, our, who's our leader? And the leader was Lando and then Lewis and Max. Okay. And then um, and then in, in fourth, being promoted to fourth now, was Carlos. Signs. Yes. And then, uh, and then Piastri fell... Back into fifth after getting, um, or I'm sorry, got promoted up to fifth after because he got screwed from the the first set of pit stops. Um, track starts to dry out, and right when George went out was when Verstappen started to find claw pace. back and find, find some pace, pace because yep. up until this point, I mean, he got Max. Max did a good job, jumped ahead of Lando. Was, At the start. Was this a function of, as the race went on, the cars got lighter, possibly, and that changed the dynamics of the car? You know, I, I have no idea, because 
as the rain started to fall, the Red Bull definitely went backwards. But yeah, even at the start of the race when he was ahead of Lando, it what he wasn't catching the catching Mercedes. Right. The Mercedes were pretty much clear at that point. Yep. Um, and then. So making the the right call at the right time for the first pit stop was yeah. great on them. Brought them back into it and then didn't really go anywhere from that point. But then the second half of the inners, that's where the Red Bull started to claw back some time. Mm-hmm. And then again, um, Lando, or I'm sorry, uh, Max, Lewis, and Piastri all made the right call of when to get back onto the dries. Gotcha. Um and Lando went, Lando and Carlos went one more lap, which ultimately screwed them, or it, well, at least screwed uh, Lando. Um, right. Because after after that pit stop, that's where Lewis went ahead of Lando. Max um, was still in third at that point, but uh, with twelve laps to go, thirteen laps to go, um, Lewis and Lando were on the soft tires, and Max was on the hards. Now the McLaren strategies strategists looking like Ferrari strategists. This is their moment because they tell Lando that he has a set of mediums ready to go, and they Lando and the team opt to go on the softs, which ultimately screw them because Max with the Red Bull on hards was definitely the fastest car towards the end. Although Lewis did a great job of maintaining uh the life of the of the soft tires until the end and it really was only until like the last lap lap and a half where he really started to drop some pace um so they mercedes and lewis timed that really well yep of how to make that that tire last long and lewis did a great job there um so props to mercedes and lewis on a great on a great run uh race there um did an excellent job uh props to red bull for being on the back foot and making the right calls at the right times the entire race um definitely did not have the car this weekend um and mclaren again just came up short like they have been so I, and i think this is part of the growing pains of trying to become a winning team again so it, i think of w- with how good of a car they have I don't see a reason why they won't figure it out. But then again, there was times where we saw Ferrari with the fastest car and they still couldn't figure it out. Okay. So who knows? Mm-hmm. And also this was the halfway point in the season. And like we've seen with trends of this, there's also been periods of dominance in the second half of the season because it just, some cars just fire on the Red Bull. Um, so, We'll see how it goes. Okay. Well, congrats to Lewis. Get in there. Mm-hmm. Get in there, Lewis. All right. Let's kind of just take a quick peek. Oh, did we screw something? Sorry. Might have screwed something up here. Bear with me one second. Oh, damn it. Yeah, we did screw something up. Hold on. One second, one second, one second, one second. Oh, I, and I should should mention that yes leclerc had a bad race but i think it was a point of they pit him too early to go into wets and then at that point he was basically just the guinea pig for yeah for carlos carlos so, okay um carlos yes so uh some of the t- and, and same thing with perez i mean although perez really screwed himself in qualifying yeah. so Again, a guinea pig for Verstappen to get tired of data at that point. I think Mercedes was really the only team to not split the cars yep. for a tired um, purposes. Tire purposes and actually have two guys that could be up there genuinely between pace. Um, but everyone else somewhat suffered from the second driver had ultimately fell into that sacrifice position. So. All right, so with that, let's just highlight Hulk, the Hulk with a sixth place finish. Yes. Uh, Sergeant missed out one spot, finishing behind Yuki in 11th, so mm-hmm. he uh, 
Could have had a point. Yep, not bad there. Uh, Albon got a point or two, and then uh, for finishing ninth. Mm-hmm. All right. And also double points by Aston Martin. Martin. Yes. All right. Um, in our driver situation from last week, pick a, pick them. How did we do? Uh, awful. Terrible. Well, right. not really. Uh, you picked second and third correct with Max and Lando. Excellent. Carlos was you had winning. That did not happen. I did have Carlos winning. That's um, I guess. Uh, oh no, Nate. So you got two right, Nate got one and a half, you got Max in second correct, but he had Norris winning, and he finished in third, so half a point there. I get half a point for Norris winning, which is, he ends up, he was on the podium, and then I also had Verstappen in third, but he was on the podium as yep. well, so I got two of the podium guys right, but not in the correct order. All right, so uh, Max uh, now at 255. Lando at 178, Charles at 150. Now we have a battle between Charles and Carlos. Four-point separation. Which, if you add in the points from Behrman, oh, yeah. that, he, it the, would have flipped. that car yeah, would is ahead of, of yeah, Leclerc. Leclerc, all right. Well done, Ferrari, on your driver picks uh, for next year. Um, nothing against Lewis there, just saying. Not that it's not Lewis. Yep. Uh, Oscar sitting in fifth, uh, about 22 behind the Ferrari boys. Somehow, Checo is sixth, but seven ahead of Russell and eight ahead of Lewis. Yeah. Ooh, Lewis fighting back on Georgie Porgy. like it. Uh, then we have ninth, uh, Fred, and then tenth, his teammate, Lance. Mm. The Hulk up to 11th. <laughs> Not bad. No, not, not at all. bad. Not bad. I mean, ha- if anything, Haas is that it's. It'll be interesting to see who Haas puts alongside Behrman, which uh, we'll, get, we'll get to. I don't want it to be who they think it is. I know. But I anyways, know, I know. I don't either. Moving along here, um, RB. Uh, let's see, Red Bull, uh, seventy-one ahead of Ferrari. Well, of that, most of it's Max. Mm-hmm. Uh, if it wasn't from, yeah. Anyways. Um, McLaren, uh, seven behind Ferrari now, closing the gap. Mercedes, slow start to the season. We'll see how it how the yeah, second half goes. Eighty one. Yeah, it's away. gonna t- it's gonna take some time. Aston Martin, uh, not even close in fifth. RB is thirty one. Haas twenty seven. So this dog fight there between Haas and RB for sixth place in the points. Yep. Uh, then we have Alpine, uh, Williams. And then Suber. All right. The other thing, too. Yeah. Sargent is not dead last in the points anymore. Oh, because of his finishes. Yeah. Or this 11th place finish now. Yeah. So he is now officially ahead of Valtteri Bottas. Let me go back to that. So. Let me take a look at that. You are correct. And the other funny bit about the standings is Behrman is still ahead of a like Albon. a quarter of the grid. He's ahead of K Mag, Albon, S Ocon, and then the three with zero. Yeah. All right. Uh where are we off to? Uh we are off to Hungary. Yes. This used to be the break in the season. Yep. Hungary, but it's not because we're gonna nope. go to Belgium. Yep. Then gonna... we have the break. Yes. And then we return to the Netherlands. So that should be entertaining. Yeah. I don't know if... Spa was definitely a great track to come back to, but I don't know if Zandvoort is the track to come back to either. Well, we'll see. Anyways. Anyways. All right. That's Personal, that's personal preference. So we are off a week, and then we have, we're have we back-to-back. Yep. And then we're off for three great, weeks. For the break. All right, don't work in the cars. No one show up at the factory. All right, IndyCar, Mid Ohio, hybrid era. Yes, first race on the new, the repaved Mid Ohio sports car circuit. Mm-hmm. It is the Mid Ohio sports car circuit. Just so you know, don't get mad at me, people. The Mid Ohio. Uh, yes, Ugh. yes, it's the Mid Ohio. Well, it's like the Ohio State. I, that's everything I in Ohio. It's the, the or the. 
anyways, the Honda Indy 200. Um, Polo took pole. Mm -hmm. um, overall, race, fantastic. I thought the hybrids, you know, no issues. No one caught fire. Except for Dixon. Dixon yeah. Uh, well, somebody's bound to. Mm -hmm. um, however, you can use push to pass with the hybrid. The only thing that's changed is the hybrid unit is yep. now in the car. But it's cool. It's that's, another. It's another graphic up there, which I kind of like. Yeah. So good. Well, and, well, you got to be <laughs> careful because now there's flashing lights on the screen all the I time. I know. It's cool. <laughs> Anyways, I like it. Um, it was good. I thought Hinchcliffe did a great job of explaining it throughout the race. Yep. Um, so I, I thought he did well. I think it's tough for Kevin Lee and Townsend Bell because Hinch had been working on this for a while in terms mm -hmm. of, um, you know, so. He was more up to speed on it. I, I think as the race racing goes on this season, it will be. Um, I expect Diffie just to be, you know, hybrid what? Anyways, this weekend, since this is his last IndyCar call. Mm. Before. Goes, is, to, goes to NASCAR and the Olympics. Oh, and, oh so this is it. He's yeah, this is it. And he won't be back. He's not going to Fox. That's right. So. That's right. Anyways. All right, let's, uh, you know, we had, I, overall, great race up front, back and forth, strategy came into play. Class of the field. <laughs> yep, two drivers put on a show. Yeah. Um, Well-deserved. I, I Honestly, I was happy for Pato, given all the crap that's going on at McLaren. Yeah. Um, so, good for him. I don't expect it to continue, unfortunately, not on his end. I figured this team is going to screw something up more. Anyways, and he does well at, Ohio, at Iowa. Um, well, I'm expecting New Garden though. Mo most of the season is. I have a surprise pick for Iowa too. Mo most of the season is is uh, ovals remaining. Yeah. So I I would expect the battle to be between Pato and Penske. Yeah, I mean the guy that's gonna well, two guys coming through the field right now, Dixon and Power, do well in ovals. Okay. Yep. So, fair point. Um, they're there. Um, Polo hasn't won an oval, so don't know what's going to happen there. Okay. Nope. New Garden is the king of Iowa, so assuming the car runs well there. Yeah. However, in the in the hybrid test that was conducted over two days at Iowa, mm -hmm. Colton Herta was the fastest car. Hmm. So just just to put that out there. Yeah. Plus Colton's decent on the ovals, so yeah, yeah, yeah could yeah. could happen. Um, Rossi don't know, but we'll get to that in a second. Mm -hmm. Um. Other than that, the only, the only uh, well, they keep talking Malukas. I just think from a points-paying position, Malukas is in a good spot to help the team. I don't expect mm -hmm. him to, um, unless they go, unless he does well at Gateway. But anyways, yeah. All right, um, but I mean, it was it was back and forth between Polo and Award all day, mm -hmm. and it came down to strategy. Simple as that. And uh, there was a couple mistakes in the pits on both parties. The worst mistakes were on the Polo side. No cautions. No cautions. No, but. Pato did a great job to claw back the pace yep. from yep. the first end on the primaries right. between the two right. of them. So, and both cars were opposite on, like, Pato was good on the red, sucked yeah. on the black. Polo mm -hmm. was good on the black, sucked on the red. So that yeah. was good. So made for a great race. Uh, you know, had that gone maybe a couple more laps, mm, don't know if Plus Award would have won. <laughs> well, given no traffic in front of him, at yeah, the end there, I'm not. I, that would have been, I'm not 100. He would have won. It would have been a good, yeah. good, good, interesting yeah. battle because it, it's a nice flowing circuit yeah. to have that. Uh, third place went to Scotty Mack. Colton fourth, continuing his season of redemption. Uh, Marcus Harrison was fifth. Rossi sixth, ahead of Lungard. Poetic justice there for Alex. <laughs> um, nothing against Lungard, but poetic justice. Kirkwood was eighth, Rasmussen ninth, and Rich Hemingway's favorite driver, Santino Ferrucci, with a yet again another top ten finish. I'll have to get Rich on to talk about that. Mm -hmm. uh, Will Power. Well, he can't, he can't right now. He's in. Oh, he's in Portugal. Yeah. Uh, Will Power, um, 11th, Malukas 12th, and congrats to Toby Sauri with an impressive 13th place finish. Could be back in a ride. Mm-hmm. Later this season. Uh, Stingray, Rob. I'm sorry. Felix, then Lindquist, then Rob. Armstrong, ugh, Graham, and the rest of the field. 
Newgarden had a bad day. Dixon had a bad day. That's all I can say. All right, let's take a look at yeah. the standings. Uh, just to, just another quick mention. From sure. 21 cars on the lead lap, and, well, I mean, Simpson was right on the tail end of the lap. So mm-hmm. if, if we go, go up a couple, I mean, what, 22? 18, 19 guys within a minute. Yep. And... That, like the f- from fifth, fifth down was covered by thirty seconds. Yeah. All right. Um, it's okay. Very, very close. From stuff. a point standpoint, right now, Polo three twenty nine. He's forty eight points ahead of Power, and seventy points ahead of Pato. Dixon is fourth, uh, 258, nine points ahead of Colton, followed by Kyle Kirkwood, Rossi, McLaughlin, Rosenquist, and then Newgarden. So, here we go. Here we go. So, we'll see what happens as we go to Iowa. Yeah. I mean, and the season's going to get... This is where this is make or break time for uh, Polo. He he's gotta um yeah he's gotta he's gotta um minimize damage or hang with the big boys here. Well, yeah. That's that's what he's gotta do. I mean it, it's now this is this is an interesting setup this week. It's it's the tw- twin high V two fifties one yep. one on Saturday one on Sunday. The one on Saturday is eight o'clock at night. Yep. It doesn't give you much time if you have a problem. No. Nope. Don't screw up Saturday. Yeah. So that should be interesting. I mean, this portion of the season, it's it's it was Mid-Ohio Sunday, Iowa 1 on Saturday, Iowa 2 on Sunday, and then the next week is Toronto. Toronto. So, and then... Then they have a break for the Olympics. No joke. That, that break in the schedule between July 21st and August 17th is due to the Olympics. Okay. All right, so then then they round out the schedule. Yep. With th- three ovals. Um, no. In four races. F- four, three o- yeah, three ovals and four races. The the exception being the road course at Portland, which I expect Pelot will probably win at. Oh yes, I'm sorry. That was yeah. There's Portland as well. So. Um. So two races where Pelot needs to, I mean, at least. Come away with wins to minimize any potential damage on the road courses, Toronto and Portland. Yeah, which could happen. Yeah, if he has strong showings here at Iowa in both races, uh, that bodes well because the remaining yeah. oval tracks are similar in length. Yeah. So and yep. Milwaukee. Milwaukee and Gateway. Yeah, Milwaukee is a flat oval. Yeah. So. Um, Gateway's a little bank, but not much. Yeah, more so one and two right. rather than three and yep. four. But and yeah. then Nashville, you know, it's it's similar to Iowa. That, I mean that that could be a real toss up depending on how the championship yeah. comes down right. to that to the end of that race. So, anyways, so um, that looks 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 like it's gonna be fun in IndyCar. Yep. Yeah. All right, we got some IndyCar news. Cat Leg will be returning to. Dale Coyne racing this weekend, and she will be in the car for both races at Iowa. So, congrats to Cat. Um, boo to McLaren, who yeah. announced after our show last week that Christian Lungard will be taking over for Alexander Rossi. Oh, was it after? Yeah. Oh, I thought I thought we caught this one. No, I don't no. think we did. So, boo McLaren. Okay. Um, did we? Anyways, I, I, it doesn't matter. It gives me a chance to boo him again. I can't stand Zach Brown. Well, yeah, we did. We did talk about it. Last we time. did. All right, Anyways, well, the, double boos. The, I did listen to Hinch and Rossi's podcast, podcast yeah, and because that dropped the day after. Well, same day. I mm-hmm. guess, whatever. Anyways, um, it sounds like Rossi has something lined up. 
But the reason he's leaving is McLaren wouldn't pay him. Yeah. Yeah, th- and this, it definitely this, this is the whole, seemed earlier this, than he would have liked whole to thing go. Is, and the other thing that's going on there, Arrow, their sponsor is not back next year. Yeah. So I think this is this is going to be the telltale sign with this team mm-hmm. and what they have going for it. Because Siegel's in the seat. Yeah, he drives for Zach in United Auto Sports mm-hmm. and he had a great outing. Uh, he's in the seat because he's got money. Lungard, I'm not. I I think there's some money behind him. I'm not 100 percent certain. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pato, it, it, Pato's a paid driver. Yes, as far as I'm concerned. So gonna, Zach's going to have to use his marketing skills to uh, come up with a sponsor for that team with cash, not business to business, like he does. He he's loves that business to business stuff. But you need cash in IndyCar. I hate mm-hmm. to say it. All right. Uh, that's all I have on the IndyCar news front. Um, to- Toby Sowery might be back for the coin. Could be either at Toronto or um, I think what's going to happen, I think it's going to be Cat for the ovals oh. and Sowery for the two road courses, mm. not, which gives them a good shot. So oh, yeah. I think that could happen. I'm totally fine. Yep. Uh, anyways, uh, let's talk four hours of Imola and the European Le Mans system. Uh, system. <laughs> Series. Yep. Uh Apparently, uh, Siri, Siri <laughs> wanted to talk to me. <laughs> All right. Okay. Anyways, EMS. EMS. Four. So four hours. Four hours. Okay. And yeah. just a single. No, LMP two. No, no, no. But but a a single race, not a not like nope. a double header. No, nope. single race. Okay. Single race, and uh, AO by. TF. So this is Louis Delatraz, Robin Kubica. Uh, finished first via a penalty <laughs> to Panis Racing. Jeez. So, well, they won. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, bigger news in the GTD front. Is it GTD in the series? No. It's GTE still. It's GT3. 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 And they still have LMP3, I think. Yes, they do. Yeah. Hold on. Bear with me one second. Okay. Congrat. I, it, like, it's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the, I... The, the class is, like, it starts off big, and then it goes, like, small. Mm-hmm. All right. So, there's GT3. Congrats to the Iron Dames. Ooh. Got a win. Nice. Sarah Bowie, back from injury, gets it. Rahel Frey and Michelle Gadding. So, congratulations, ladies. Like to see it. All right. Um, LMP3. Uh, Euro International one, Matt Bell. So, good on him. Uh, oh, and then we have LMP2 Pro-Am. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And that was the Elgarve team uh, coming in with the win there. So, Richard Bradley, um, Anthony Quinn. So, good on those guys. Cool. So, there we go. I Hold on. I will try and see where they go through next. They don't say. Uh, Weck. Is in Brazil this weekend. E Brazil, isn't that exciting? For so they they've been putting up highlights of when they first went there back went in twenty. What? Yeah, yeah. WC went went was there in the twenty twelve. LMP one cars. Yeah, it was it was only Audi, and I think it was the first year Toyota. Oh, okay. And and that was the first win that Toyota ever got. got. Okay. Um, or at, at least. That race is, I believe, Sunday. Uh, Yes. So be tuning in on the app for that one. Actually, I should check the weather on that one. Hot and muggy. Oh, no, actually, it's not. It's reverse season down there. It's winter. Uh, Rain? No. Well, rain on on Saturday, but nothing on Sunday. Nothing on Sunday. Okay. Um, All right. Good news there. 76. F. All right. Some news from IMSA. No change in the driver compost status for next year. So whatever your driver status is, that's that's it for next year. Combo rules. Oh, the rating scale. Yeah. 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 No, that's exciting news. Yeah, very exciting. Very. So, all right. Oh, here's a fun fact. 
Did you know with their win in the LM in the GT3 Pro Am class at Spa during the 24 hours last week, week ago, and their win a year ago at um, Le Mans in LMP2 Pro Am? George Kurtz, Crowd Strike team, along with Nikki Colin Brown and Nikki Katzberg, they've won. They've gotten two podium win, two class wins in both centennial races. Huh. Fun fact. That's cool. Yeah. I thought that was cool. All right. Uh, just a quick note on IndyCar. Yes. Um, n- no rain is in the forecast, however. Oh, it's going to be hot. Uh, yeah, it's going to be like 85. At night. At night. Yeah. And what, a thousand it'll, on it'll cool Sunday. A little bit. S- Sunday? When do they start on Sunday? Noon. Okay, noon is Oof. is ninety and nice. still climbing. Yeah, to to ninety three right. or ninety five. Yeah, like. and this so. is this is this is the race. Plus, it's a fan friendly fan nah, fan friendly event because they have the concerts, and they're all like yeah, they got at, some high. Pra- yeah. I mean, they got some at, really good talent like they did night, last year at night. Yeah, well, uh, no, the eight o'clock. No, the the one on Saturdays before. It's a, oh, it's from five. Yeah, horrible. it's horrible. <laughs> it's like after qualifying because it's it's all like. Oh, oh, never mind. All right, that's yeah. Disgusting. It's, no thanks. Good good job. That was a good good, good a, scheduling. Like no, honestly, no, that was that was a. Hey, you know what? If you bought the expensive ticket, oh, you're an idiot. Good on you. Anyways, good, good on, on you. you. No, but IndyCar like could have went to Toronto, in Portland, and uh, and pushed this to like. This is why that schedule makes no sense because it, a lot of their races are in the dead pan of the summer. I mean, they go into Milwaukee. Okay, yeah, there's water nearby. You might get some, but it's still hot there. It, it's on the wrong side of the lakes. Right, because so, the winds are blowing from west to east. Yeah. Um, you go into Gateway. Oof. Yeah. And Nashville. It's like, you know, bring the AC and the cooler fans. D- Detroit should be later. Detroit. Oh, the only reason it's then is because it's right after Indy and no, it's a close stop. But I, I, the schedule needs to be yeah, recapped. Yeah. But anyways. All right. Other news, John Force. Best wishes mm. still. Moved from the hospital to a rehab center, so that's good news. Yep. So Link, wish, Still lengthy road, but... Lengthy road, but still wish him well. All right. Move, moving in the right direction. Moving in the right direction. Um, we talked about Bubba. All right. Breaking news from NASCAR. Right now? Yes. Like while we're, while we're recording? Yes. Or earlier? Earlier today. Oh, boy. All right. Oh. Bro- broken, on his, oh. Uh, broken on his podcast today. So, um, Connor Daly, welcome back to the NASCAR Truck Series for three races in <laughs> Nice Motorsports. And then he will be in the Xfinity race at Indy. Driving for Stuart Haas Racing in their number 26 car. So that's exciting. Um, on the driver driver moving front, um, Haley Deegan is no more. She has been released from her contract. Mm-hmm. So. Don't know what's next, so we'll see. A lot of money from Ford on that deal that went down the drain. I hate to say it. Anyways. Oh, that falls uh, Lindsey Brewer down. She, she got cut by Jade, by Hunkos for her NXT thing. Yeah, in the NXT. Yeah. yeah. I, I released a statement that yep. the contract was not met. All right. And on that note... Uh, oh, hold on, hold on, do we have to do? Oh, we got to do picks, picks. for IndyCar. Yeah, yeah, hold Sorry. on, before we get there. All right. Um, well, Nate didn't get picks in to us. So, oh, so, so we can pick. So we get, we get the oh, luxury of picking I, before him. Oh, he just texted me. I have. I oh, have, I have one. Wow. Yep. Nif- Nifty timing by him. Yep. I have one. Uh, in the night race, he's mm-hmm. going with Santino Ferrucci. Okay. And his dark horse is going to be. Roman Grosjean. All right. And in the day race, he's picking Roman Grosjean. Yep. And his dark horse is Santino Ferrucci. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> well done, Nate. 
How does he do it? I don't know. He is amazing. Not like his 27th and 17th picks of last week. Oof. Oof. Woof. Start off Mr. hybrid Mr. error. Mr. Good. IndyCar himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got those picks in on time, too. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> All right. So this week, you got to pick two first place finishers. Yes. All right. I'm going cookie cutter. I'm going to say Paddle wins the night race. New Garden wins the day race. Okay. And I'm I am going to go... New Garden double. Okay. Um, my dark horses are Kyle Kirkwood for the night race. Oh, I like that. That's a good one. Nolan Siegel for the day race. All right. My dark horse for the night race will be Malukas. Okay. My dark horse for the the day race. Can I pick Will Power as a dark horse? Or should I need it not? No. No. I, I think we've. All right, Stay I will the pick. Top teams. Like, let's go true dark All right, I'll go Christian, Christian Rasmussen. Rasmussen. Okay. All right. Uh, you know, wait a minute, scratch that. All right. I want Renus. All right. One fist. Gotcha. Huh? Put down his name. Renus VK. Oh, you said Renus. Yeah, Renus VK. Not, not Linus. Oh, Linus Lindquist. No, Renus. Sorry, my bad. Yes, my okay. Dutch isn't v- so VK good. VK is, is good. My yes. Dutch is not so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. you're Swedish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. What else? Right. Is it? Oh, and that's it, right? Because uh, oh, we got whack in Brazil, but yes, I know we don't have time. No, no, we, we don't is that have that's a six-hour race, correct? Yes, okay. six six hours. All right. So and then no uh, LMP two. Oh. And. Brazil. Inter- interlock, yes. Yes. For WEC. Right. However. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. IMSA will be running at Mossport. Right. With the LMP2s headlining there. Right. Along with the GTD, the whole GTD field? Yes. Pro and. Pro and AM. Pro and AM. Yes. Just call it AM. I, they, I get they, it. I don't like calling it GTD. No, I don't. They well, call it GTD Pro. Yeah, and then GTD and then GTD. Yeah, so I mean, one's, factory, dri- one's yeah. factory drivers and one's pro and am drivers. That's what it should be. That's what it is. Or or throw both of those crap out because and just call they it all, GTD. Because they're all good. I know. Like, even the ams are good. Yeah. Well, there's a few. No. Oh, all right, moving on. All right. All right, that's all I have. Yeah, that, that's all, right. all I got, too. On that note, good night. Thank you guys for listening to the Redness Podcast, hosted by Christian Abbott, Sean Abbott, and Nathan Lavin. It's produced by Christian Abbott, and music is by Alex Wart and Harrison Tate.